Per-channel ink limiting is usually the first step. The chart here is already printed and the step value with the correct result has been input into the RIP as required. Next is printer linearization and tone distribution or tonality. Here the printer is instructed to print a series of CMYK step wedges. These wedges will have to be measured into the RIP software for assessment and setup of the linearization curves for this media, ink and printer combination confirmed and checked. Next comes overprint ink limiting. This step usually has a complex looking chart with rows of ink channel combinations in varying amounts. This step definitely requires visual assessment. You will probably need to input your results and print again to confirm that your settings are correct. It is good to confirm these previous steps by outputting a calibration check chart. This will obviously confirm your calibration. Per channel ink limits, tonality, overprint ink limits and grey bars. Here I'm using a custom chart that I've created that also assists in the profile building process by providing total link coverage and black start point information. You can see then that each step is important and critical to the next and it is vital to obtain good training and guidelines on the approach to take for your printer, ink and media combination. To build your media profile, you need to output a profile chart using the calibration setting or settings that you've just made. Here we are printing an IT874 chart which has over 1,600 patches. Measurement of the chart and profile creation is then completed. Here I'm using a chart reader to quickly scan and measure the chart. But the spectrophotometer that you use and your profile creation software that you use is really up to you at this point. And using a chart reader, as I am here, makes it quick and easy to measure a large number of patches very quickly. After the profile building is complete, I thoroughly recommend that you go through with profile validation. I like to use a few different strategies here with various profile utilities, that's software, as well as checking the profile using something like Photoshop for visual validation. Finally, it's good to confirm the colour management setup in your RIP. And I like to do this by outputting a test form or a chart to confirm the colour output. I like to use my own test form that contains various elements for critical visual assessment as well as measurement for colour print validation to an international standard like ISO 12647 or to your in-house standard.